Hey guys, I just want to show you my dry cell that I made maybe five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. I have here a one inch thick, thick Pepsi glass with five stainless steel plates. Is that five? Seven. One negative, one positive, and five neutrals. And you can see through it too. Actually, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> then I have a PWM to control the voltage. PWM. I had this set up in my pickup truck, a Chevy S10 2000. Sold the truck, so I took it out. I got a blow off valve, a bubbler, a blow off valve. So, just in case the, uh, it gets a flashback, it'll just pop at the spring here and pop up and blow out the pressure. Won't go back to the dry cell. Actually, it works pretty cool, but it's really loud. Then I got a regular blub bubbler with the cap twist, um, tighten the cap, it will just pop right off, which is actually pretty cool. Then I got a check valve here, or well, got like a marble bearing in there, or like marble, it's a marble ball, and a check valve with a rubber grommet in the bottom, so if anything goes back, it won't go flow back to the dry cell. So actually this is pretty cool. Then what I use to create that hydrogen is crystal drain opener. Some it's kind of like crystals in there. Here. Just add a little dab in the water. I mean the stilt water because you gotta use the stilt water and to start kicking some uh, hydrogen after that. So you go for the H tool, dry cell, seven plates, both sides you can see. All right, thanks you for watching, you guys. Hope you liked it. I'm gonna make some future videos on this with some doing some production. Thanks for watching.